Hi, this is Miss Torres, and I'm going to read you a nonfiction story called Kites in Flight. While reading this story, I want you to think, what different shaped kites do you see around you? Go anywhere in the world on a windy day, and you might see kites floating high in the sky. People have been flying kites for many years. Some people fly kites for fun. Other people fly kites to celebrate special holidays. Even scientists fly kites. They use kites to learn more about nature and changes in weather. Kites can be different shapes. Some kites are shaped like squares or circles. Others are shaped like rectangles. There are even kites shaped like animals. Kites are often very colorful. Sometimes people paint pictures on their kites. Every year there is a big kite festival in Washington State. Kite flyers from all over the world bring their kites to this special event. There are contests to see which kites are the most beautiful and other contests to see which kites make the most amazing movements in the sky. Kite flying is a popular activity in India, especially during different festivals throughout the year. People fly their kites from rooftops or in open fields. In India, many of the kites are shaped like diamonds and are very colorful. Some kites are made from materials such as bamboo, which is a type of grass that grows in India. These kites are then covered with a very thin paper. This makes the kite very light and easy to fly. Many people in India play games together with their kites as the kites float in the air. You win the game if you keep your kite up in the air the longest. Every year, children in India have fun playing games with their kites. Many people believe that the first kite was made in China thousands of years ago. Today, people in China still enjoy flying kites. Some kites are simple, while others have many parts and details. Kite flyers can use a flat kite. A flat kite is made of simple shapes, such as two flat squares. These kites are very colorful. People decorate these kites with designs showing important scenes in Chinese history. Other kites in China look like bugs, such as butterflies and dragonflies, which have wings. Some kites are even shaped like fish or birds. Many kites in China are made from bamboo and covered with silk, a thin, smooth material. People paint pictures on the silk to add decoration to their kites. In South America, the country of Brazil has a long history of kite flying. People fly kites that look like spinning tops. These kites are very colorful and are used in games. These kites usually have five sides, with a rectangle on the bottom and a triangle on top. Can you count the five sides on the kite in the picture? People in Brazil make their own kites at home. They use wood to make the frame and thin tissue paper to make the kite. Some people paint the flag of Brazil on their kites. Others even add pictures of one of the country's soccer teams. You can see that people all around the world enjoy flying kites. Kites can be many shapes, colors, and sizes. Which kite is your favorite? Now you are going to practice your reading comprehension skills by retelling the story, using the pictures to tell what you see. Feel free to pause the video to answer the questions and then press play when you are ready to move on to the next one. Card one. What is flying high in the sky? What shapes do you see? Card two. What do you notice about the kites from India? What colors are the kites? Card three. What do most of the kites look like? Why do you think people fly kites shaped like this? Card four. What do the Brazilian kites look like? How are they made? Thanks for watching. Kites in flight.